what's going on gamers what's going on world so we got some stalker mods here uh for pc players stalker mods are also officially going to be coming as a cross mod community for xbox and pc officially from uh gsc games in the future but right now uh if you're on pc uh, even on game pass you can get some really nice nexus mods on stalker 2 so what you do is you type in stalker 2 mods and you go to this right here now i'm gonna give you guys some key highlights <clears throat> on mods that you might want definitely if uh you're new to the stalker series this may be too rough for you and you want some things removed like starting off let's get right to it you know we have an fps boost here less stuttering better stability and cleaner image uh and if you don't know what you're doing basically what you want to do is um obviously the description is the first thing you're going to go to you're going to go down and read exactly everything here very carefully but first and foremost before you do that you're going to want to make a backup before installing these in the files in case of anything goes wrong so for example if i go to steam and i go to like you know, I have the other Stalker trilogy you uninstalled, but I'm playing Stalker on Game Pass right now. You would just right click on something, go to manage and back up your game files. Just in case if anything goes wrong, you can just delete that and have your files, uh, you know, just reapplied. It helps out big time. So always remember to do that. It's something that will help you out big time. And then for Xbox, your stuff is up in the cloud. So you could just, you know, go there and re-download something. Um, but yeah, uh, you don't necessarily have to get this. Honestly, my problem with these type of mods is that the developers do updates themselves to make games better over time. And the Stalker dev said that they're going to be updating the game a lot. If we go, and oh, by the way, congratulations to them yesterday for hitting over a hundred thousand, a hundred uh, plus thousand on Steam, which I thought was very cool. But you know, over here they say, nevertheless, Stalker is a massive game. We understand that it's such a game there may be still rough edges we literally haven't released anything of this scale before massive game we're absolutely committed to being here monitoring your feedback and quickly uh fixing any issue that needs our attention and the first days after release we'll be working with hotfix so there's going to be a lot of that coming in so get prepared for that and remember before you get mods like that rolling them out as precisely as possible and then when that's done and as frequently as we can they're going to switch to larger updates that include constant improvements they're going to have free content they're going to share the roadmap next month and they have big, uh, big plans this game is also going to get two expansions and like i said it's all official mods so if you want to wait on that you can when it comes to stuff like this now um something that i know people do probably get annoyed with is right here no weapon durability loss so the cool thing about uh this is that if you want lesser durability loss you actually made two so this is why you go to files to find it lesser weapon durability loss like 50 percent less and then you got no so you could uh no weapon durability uh loss not no but yeah um you can decide what you want here so guys i recommend looking in the files and then i recommend going to the post in case if you get a little uncomfortable see what the comments say you know what i mean see what people are saying just in case if you feel like there's not enough here and you feel uncomfortable messing around but with stuff like this is very simple you know you just install extract the pack file to stalker 2 uh you know hard returnable stalker 2 uh content packs mods and once you get there then you just copy and paste that in there and it's that simple if you want it out you just get it out that way like i said if you feel uncomfortable go to the comments because there's people that always have questions about stuff like that and i'm pretty sure they can get answered very easy for you but just in case back up the game files but it's easy just delete just delete the folder and verify the files and it comes back just in case if you're still struggling after that it, it, it's not that hard trust me when it comes to stuff like this because you don't really have to change anything in any file so it's uh very easy and i know this is something that people were probably thinking about because some people just don't really like that let's complain about it in a lot of games if it has it but this game is a immersive you know it's survival horror like it's not meant to be a call of duty game but if you kind of want to feel that a little bit and kind of mix it and make a hybrid aspect no durability loss is something very nice another very important one that people can't stand if they don't like it in a lot of games like starfield but that's the games is a limited carry weight and you know getting over encumbered people love having a limited carry weight so yeah you can mess around with that script um and like i said go to the files for people that uh were having an issue with the game pass version if you have been here he's actually uploaded a new one so now it works for Game Pass. 
on PC and it works obviously for Steam and it always has. But like I said, if you think there's something else wrong, go to the post, read the comments, see what people have to say, even make an account, you know, comment uh, on that. They will reply and help you out. You know, there's some cool people here. But this is easy. Like I said, it says right here how to use. It's exactly what you have to do. You see? So, um, then if you go to like images, you'll see that it'll give you an idea of like how things work. Uh, that's how it starts off. And then you would like go to the table and put it to where nothing uh, weighs anything. You know what I mean? So, like I said, the files are here. Images are there. The comment posts are here to help people out. And if there's any bugs or anything, that'll all be there. And this just came out yesterday. And, and look what they already have. The modded community is amazing for soccer. They're going to be supporting this game for years. We're going to have official mods. So it's just cool seeing that. Like I said, two very important ones that I know people just really would care about. That would be very popular. And that's messing around with your carry weight. And having the uh, freedom to mess around with the uh, no durability weapon loss. Another one that people really like that's actually the most downloaded one, because if you go right here, down is the downloaded, likes is here, is apparently this one right here. Ultimate engine tweaks, anti-stutters, lower latency, no film grain, no chromatic aberration, lossless. So you go in there and you can learn about that. But these are the mods that I recommend you mess around with. Like I said, if you don't want to mess with any of that stuff and you just want to wait on devs, just mess around with the unlimited carry and the no weapon durability loss. That seems to be where it's at right now. Personally, I'm not going to mess around with this because, like I said, I know they're going to be updating the game a lot more. And I'd rather not deal with that, even though I know how to get rid of it. But I just don't see the point because I can wait and there's a lot of other stuff to do. And uh, if you guys still want to wait on the game, get optimized too. Go check out the Stalker Trilogy if you haven't. They've been having it on consoles. Uh, it is going to be a bit rough. If you're on PC, I'd recommend getting the, the mods, the CRP mods, CRP mods for the soccer games. Just type that in and you'll see. Uh, because that's mods that just basically give you a nice overhaul. It fixes all the bugs of the old games. And it, you still have the vanilla experience. Don't expect this game to be easy, though. It's brutal. And don't be afraid to lower it to the lowest difficulty so you can just enjoy it. And it's still going to be tough because that's how the soccer series is. It's not easy at all. But these are some mods I wanted to give you guys. So let me know what you guys think about these mods. Like I said, if you're interested and you are really good with messing around with any files and are, you know, really good with this... You know, go to uh, Disciple TAA, Chromatic Aberration, right? Phil Graham, Death of Field, that type of stuff. You can go ahead and mess around with that. I gave you guys the, um, you know, the instructions of how to do things. Like I said, don't forget, you just right click, manage, backup game files, and you're good. And to get to files and games, it's, it's very simple. You just manage. Um, well, I don't have that installed, so I can't do that. But for example, you just. Go to browse local uh, files and whatever folders they were telling you to go to, you just click on one of these and you can get in there very easy. All right, y'all like, subscribe, let me know what y'all think. Peace out.